Hi guys, welcome back and let's improve our tests with adding some assertions. As promised, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can verify the page URL and title. So let's start with the first one, which is example website. Basically, uh, WebDriver.io gives us an expect function, which takes an argument and you can call some of the assertions on it. So let me give you an example what I mean. First, you need to call the function expect. And in our case, we want to verify the URL in the browser. So again, we need to pass it the browser context. And now we need to call the assertion function. In this case, it's to have URL. And now you need to specify the expected value. So let's copy this and let's paste it here and now what we are doing is we launch the browser we go to the example website we wait for three seconds and then we check that the current url is example.com and i'm gonna comment out this test for now and let's just work with the first one for now so let's now open the terminal and run the test So the test is now running. And now it's executing the assertion. And as you can see, it's taking a little bit more time, which means we have an error. So let's scroll up. And as you can see, we have an assertion error because this expect was not successful. And as you can see, WebDriver.io gives us a very nice error messages. So basically we were expecting that the browser has this kind of URL, but the, in reality, it is a little bit different. You can see there is one more slash here. And as test automation engineer, now what you have to do is go to your teammates or report the bug. And imagine that you will report this and the engineers will tell you that, hey, this is expected behavior, this slash should be here. Go and update the test. So what you can do is go and you will update the expected value. So now it should be passing. So if I run the test now, again, it will open the browser. And as you can see, the tests are now passing because we are now expecting for the correct value. And this is pretty much it. If you want to verify any URL address, all you have to do is expect browser call to have URL function and pass it the expected value. And to have URL is coming from WebDriver.io expect function. And in the same way, we can expect the title. So let's do it. Expect browser. And the function is to have title and now let's go and get the title so open example.com right click to inspect the website we need to go to the head and here you can see the title so let's copy the value and let's paste it here and that's it now, if we run the test, it will load the website, wait for three seconds, and then it will check if the URL contains this value. And then also it will check if the title of the page is correct. So let's run the test. And as you can see, our tests are still passing, which is fine. So again, in this video, you have learned two assertions. And in the next video, I'm going to show you some more options, which are very basic because I want to start from the very simple steps and slowly we will move to the more advanced stuff. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can actually verify if some element or selector is visible on the current page. So I think that's it for now and see you in the next video.